Hello friends, I've been waiting to make this video for over six months and I am so freaking excited because the bookcases are back in stock. We're gonna redo my office and turn it into a library. I can't wait. I went and grabbed the bookcases earlier this week. So let's roll the clip of me picking them up at Ikea. Hello, I am filming on my phone because I left my camera at home because I was so excited because the bookcases were back in stock this morning. So here they are in my car. They barely fit. I'm very happy that I got them. They were selling out so fast. There were 12 when I checked at 7 a.m. this morning and it's Ikea just opened at 10. It's 10.30 so I went as soon as they opened and got them and there were only eight left when I walked in the store. So they sold out quick. I'm so freaking excited to have these. I will see you when I have a spare moment to put these together. I'm so excited. My excitement for these bookcases is probably 25 times too high, but I will not tone it down. I am so excited. So I did film myself putting all of these bookcases together. And then my sweet, sweet dog, Sully, not this one. He's an angel. He didn't do anything. Sully chewed on my SD card and she no longer works. So I lost all of that footage. Thankfully I have a tiny bit of footage, so I'm gonna play that for you now. I used to have all of my books in my coffee table. I'll put a picture here of what that looks like. And then recently I got a TV unit that could hold books in it as well because the bookcases still weren't in stock. Unfortunately, with the addition of this lovely little boy to the family, the dog playing has caused many cups of tea to be knocked over. Some changes needed to be made. So the coffee table is no longer gonna be holding books. The books are gonna be safely away from the dogs and from any liquid that may fall on them. I could fit every single book I own on one of these shelves, but that would be like no space for anything else. And because it was so hard to get these, I wanted to get two just in case they went out of stock for another six months. And of course, I'm gonna keep buying books. So I think having both of these bookcases is gonna be a really good idea, especially because I'm getting rid of the coffee table. So now what I need to do is figure out how I'm gonna organize these. I I think my initial plan was I want to separate by things I've read and things that I have not read. And I also want to separate by genre and vibe. Let's go categorize everything. I want to stack everything in piles and then we will reassess. So over to the bookshelves. Hi friends, coming back to walk you through the rest of this process. So after I stacked everything up in piles, I realized that I really had no idea what I was doing and I just kind of needed to see things on the shelves. So over the course of the next couple of days, I put some books on the shelves and tried to figure out how much space I was working with. I also have that uh, little two shelf unit that my TV sits on, so I didn't really know what books I wanted to put there, if I wanted that to be my favorite shelf or, or if I even wanted a favorite shelf. So this is the process of me, my outfits are gonna change because it's over the course of a couple of days, putting all of the books on the shelves.
my parents are moving out of my childhood home so I basically had to get all of my stuff out of their house because they're moving. They dropped off like six boxes of all of my crap that I left at their house when I moved out. Some of that stuff was like papers that needed to go into storage. Some of it was clothes. A lot of it was stuff that I had on like my dresser and on my bookshelves that I had at home. Stuff that needed to go somewhere and I don't have a lot of counter space and I can't put anything that is within dog height because uh, Mr. Sullivan will take it and enjoy it as a toy. So please enjoy me putting all my knickknacks on my bookshelf. They're done! Maybe, almost. I have more judging to do, so I'm sure I'll give you the final run through later, but I'm so freaking excited with how this has turned out so far. That brings us to the end. I have my bookshelves. This was a process. It took way longer than I thought it was. Let me move you around so you can see them. And here we are in front of my new bookcases. I'm so happy with the way that these turned out. I think I'll definitely have some more futzing around, but let me take you and show you a little a little tour of what we have going on. Let's do a tour. Okay, so these two top shelves are really just like, there's no books up here. It's just knickknacks and stuff. I've got some trophies on the top and I also have um, these little guys that my grandparents gave me. I'm sure eventually I will have enough books to fill those, but for now, that's what's going on there. I have a lot of knickknack crap. <laughs> Okay, so this first shelf here, I have all of my poetry over here, and then I have all of my romance over here. And then if we look over here, all of these are my short story collections in this stack, and then I have all of my nonfiction over there. I really like how this shelf turned out. 
because it is kind of a mishmash of a lot of things, but I do like the way that it ended up looking. Okay, on to the next one. This is the only shelf that combines things that I haven't read with things that I have read. This is my classics shelf. I just wanted all of my classics in one place because I feel like it's a very specific mood to be in to read a classic and I'm probably just as likely to reread a classic as I am to read one I haven't read before when I am reaching for one. So I just have all of my classics all in one place and I finally have my prized possession, my um, early edition of Paradise Lost. that my brother gave me for Christmas last year. I am so happy to finally have this back in my collection. It's a reprinting of the second edition and I just love it. Oh, also I have the Secret Thoughts of Cats up there, which is not a classic, but should be a classic. This is the fantasy shelf. I have a lot of favorites in here. This is mostly standalone fantasy or fantasy that I'm not picking up the rest of the series. And then over here is all of my fantasy series. There are really only like two or three of them that I have. I don't read a lot of fantasy series, but I did want to have this shelf for them just so that I can have it grow. I'm reading a lot more fantasy now, so eventually that ship will be in front of books and it'll all fill out. And then I have all my graphic novels there on the end with my Azorian flag. I got this from my grandfather. My mom was born in the Azores, so I have this little flag. Okay, down here I have all of my general fiction, literary fiction. There's not a lot of it, but I did want to give it its own shelf. I have a ton of literary fiction on my TBR as well, so I'm sure this will eventually get a lot bigger. And over here I have a whole shelf dedicated just to horror. I'm really happy about the way that this shelf turned out. I've got a lot of thrillers over here, and then most of this this way is horror. And now for the TBR shelves. So down here I have every book that I have a specific video for. All of these books are for specific videos. And then over here I have stuff that I'm, hi sweetie, are you gonna be in the bookshelf tour? And then over here I have some stuff that I'm thinking about unhauling. Up here, this is my regular TBR, just everything that I may be interested in reading. This is mostly like thriller, horror dark things that I want to read, dystopian, all that kind of stuff, sci-fi. Um, and then over here, this is all still TBR, but mostly like contemporary literary fiction, uh, a little bit of romance, stuff that's a little bit lighter. And then I also have all of my nonfiction TBR right over there. This is all storage. I've got all my like old yearbooks and study GMAT stuff. That's all my books. I have just a couple more like classics and books that I have for school left in this bookshelf and I'll I'll figure out what to do with those later. All right. Well, that's it. These are my bookshelves. I'm very, very happy with the way that everything turned out. I'm so excited to be able to like sit in front of these and film content for you guys. I'm really happy that everything worked out and also that they were, they kind of came at the perfect time because I had all this stuff from my parents that I wanted to put somewhere. It still feels a little cluttered to me, so I'm probably going to do some decluttering of things. It's really hard for me to declutter things that have sentimental value. Um, so like things that I've been given as gifts or things that I purchased while with my family feels like something that I don't want to let go of, but I'm trying to work towards if it's not bringing me joy anymore, I thank it for the place it had in my life and let it move on. Um, as you can probably tell, I was very much a horse girl growing up. Um, I stand by that phase of my life. I still very much do love horses, but I don't think that everything that I own needs to be either a dog, a cat, or a horse. <laughs> We're allowed to grow and change as humans and accept that previous parts of ourselves are no longer what we want to portray to the world. Turned out I do have a lot of crap up here that I probably don't want to keep anymore, but until I have books to fill those shelves, that's where it's going to stay. Let me show you how the living room looks now with that bookcase as well. I've decided to make this like my up and coming TBR. So just the things that I am the most excited about reading so that I can do face outs so that I can like look at them and go, okay, yes, I did really, really, really want to read that. So that when I'm sitting here like watching TV, I can also be looking at all of these great things that I want to read and maybe, you know, pick up a book instead of picking up the TV remote. That's the hope. So that's why I chose to do this as 
TBR. Well, thank you guys for joining me on my bookshelf journey. I can't believe I have these bookshelves. These are my dream bookshelves. These are the Hemnas bookshelves from Ikea. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in them as well. They were out of stock for a really long time, so if you can find them, I would get them quick if you're interested because they're very, very hard to find. If you are attempting to put these together, bring a friend. They're, they're, they're really heavy. I struggled a little bit. Um, but I, I just love the look of these. I've seen a lot of people have the white versions of these and I wanted the black version just because I want it to be a little bit moodier, a little bit cozier. So I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see me read a lot of these books on my shelves, I would love to have you here. So please consider subscribing. If you like this video, please give it a like. Love to chat with you in the comments about your bookshelves. I will see you next week. Bye.